when you're 17, 18, 19, and you're trying to live out your dream and people are throwing bottles of piss at you. Like, it's it's very hard to come to terms with that. And, you know, the thing about it is, um, the biggest message that we've always had, and it comes from my dad, and it comes from growing up where I did. I was always told as a kid, you can dress and act and do whatever you want to do, right? If you want to dress up like Alex from Clockwork Orange, go for it. But be consciously aware when you go to school wearing a top hat and a cane and a crotch uh, thing and like, uh, you know, uh, all of the accoutrements and the eyelash that people might make fun of you and you have to be prepared to stand up for yourself and not give a shit what they think about you. And that was always the kind of the the ethos of, of what we did was I'm not just going to say stand up for yourself. I'm going to stand up for myself. And if I'm going to tell a whole bunch of people that are listening to us that they should believe in what they believe in and dress how they want, act how they want. And if someone fucks with you, don't fall apart. Don't crumple into a ball. Stand up for yourself. And so what that manifested into was me going through a number of years where we would play about four songs in a show and the rest of the time would be me fighting people in the audience or uh, in the crowd or yelling at people. And so I think as I've gotten older, I've found a good balance where I'm not interested in taking shit from anybody, but I also know that my job is to entertain, and it's not as entertaining to have me just yell at people for most of the show. Maybe for somebody it is. But for our fans, they would rather hear our songs. So I think I've just gotten better at compartmentalizing it over the years.